The mayor's ship is lost, sunk at sea. This is fail. Caught in the wind, starving. The crew is about to mutiny. Let's get out of here. We're gonna head back to the south. Pirates, we're gonna kill you now. Firemen! These are the sons of bitches that killed the mayor. They collide. I want your blood. You were quicker than me last time. But not this time. You get your vengeance. He meets his cold fate at the bottom of the ocean. Keep it. Let's get out of here. Gonna go head back to Middleburg. With your tail between your legs, once again you pull into the port. It's time to regather some crew and build up a bit. There's no one here looking for work. Okay. There's nothing else we can do here in Middleburg, so we're gonna sail away. We've got our two ships limping along. 38 crew. Plenty of food. Let's check the world map real quick. But we also do have the English towns here. Yep, so my bad. We're gonna go bother. We're gonna go bother the English. Well, it's now March, and the crew is getting more unhappy as the days go by. We haven't seen a single ship since that last pirate ship, and the wind continues to fight us. Every time we need to turn further south, the wind blows harder against us, slowing us down even more. We've barely made any distance, and St. Martin is still a hundred miles to the southeast. Finally, after months of sailing, we catch a break. We're gonna sail into the Dutch city of St. Martin here. Ah, the wind begins to work against you again. Go figure. St. Martin. You are in the Dutch port of St. Martin, population 4,200, and it is currently roasting away under the hot sun. Sugar here is plentiful. Well, real quick, let's go to the tavern, see if we can find any uh, sailors to hire. Jobs are scarce here, however, you find 16 people willing to join your ships. Come on, then, let's go. And the treasure dealer. Ooh, he should be able to give us the last part of the map here. Search south of Caracas. So, yep. We'll have to head down there soon. Our map is now complete, our second treasure map. Yes. It is rumored that the Hombre Ahogado, bound for Antigua, is carrying over 1,400 in gold. We're here. And they'll be going to the south of us, so we might head down there. Eventually. Let's see, what else can we do? Check out the, uh, no, we won't go to the governor. They'll ask us to do something. How about the shipwreck, real quick? Repair our boats. Repair that. And we will upgrade to cotton cells for a little bit of speed. Let's rename our boats, real quick. We've got the, uh, come on, the Phoenix 3. And the high wind. What's the top ten pirates look like? We're now, we're in the sixth place. I thought we were in fifth. At least they're giving us some competition. And one last thing. 24 years old and in good health. Your crew of 54 is mutinous. We're gonna sail away anyways. After 13 months of sailing, two crewmen have deserted. Oh well. We really need to find a Spanish ship worth stealing. Transporting immigrants. Attack it anyways. Wait, that's a Dutch ship. Attack the Spanish pirate. It's going after them. Chain shot, man. You 
fire your chain shot. Actually, wait, we don't have chain shot here. Pirate Brig has 99 crew. In short, 38. All we have is regular cannonballs. Dance around them. Our ship is heavily damaged. It doesn't look like they want to fight anyways. Don't let them board, however. Come on, man, we can reload these guns faster, can't we? I know you're mutinous and all, but come on. Well, Captain, if you want to waste our shots by shooting them into empty ocean, we might not reload the guns at all. Okay, we'll make this one count. I lied. You can dodge out of the way of the grape shot. Come on. Try to line this up. Get ready to fire, man. Fire! Their ship is no match for yours. It's too heavily damaged to keep up in any type of real combat. Just pepper it with more spray. They have zero guns and 82 crew. As you pull alongside, they surrender, unwilling to fight anymore. We'll take it all, but sink that ship. Crew is still mutinous. There's a ship up here. Is this the treasure ship? Spanish smuggler. The Hombre Ojogada. This is it. 1,500 gold should be on board, men. They have 65 crew. Surely we can split that amongst us, though. If you want the gold, however, you won't be able to sink the ship. You're gonna have to get in and get it with your hands. We're trying to chain ourselves down, Captain. Let's run with the wind for a moment. As you fire one last volley, they pull alongside and begin to board. Your body armor won't help you here. You throw a bucket in the captain's face and then push him down the stairs. Your gold is mine, you Spanish dog. Forfeit it now and give your life away. You knock him into the fire and he proceeds to jump into the sea. The gold is all yours. This should quell your men's hunger for a little bit. Take all of it. And then sink that ship. Actually keep it, we're near port. We'll go sell this ship. Is that a Dutch boat? The Dutch Brigandine. Nine weeks out of uh, Middleburg heading to St. Martin. I'm glad you can make it, Governor. The modest Dutch port needs your guidance. Prosperous Dutch capital. So now that it's the capital, let's pull into port and sell one of these boats. Go to the ship right here. We have the high wind and the hombre ogado. Fine grain gunpowder, and chain shot is all that it has. 49 tons. We'll sell this one, the Hombre Ogato. And then repair our main boat, the Phoenix 3. We also go to the tavern real quick, check the mystery man, see what he knows. A mysterious traveler offers to share with you information from his recent visit to Kumana. They have 300 soldiers and 6,000 citizens. Yeah, right, we're not gonna be ready for them for a long time. It's rumored that the real band for Antigua is carrying over 1,000 gold. The Spanish war galleon. We don't have nearly enough sailors to deal with her. The governor's daughter is a real beauty. 